Uh, Keith from Terry X here. In this video I'm going to be showing how to install the hydraulic lock extender piece um, for the front of our lowering kit when you install the triple clamp spacer uh, lifts the, the bars up 22 mil. We need to stop, um, check the clearances and if there's an issue with the exhaust pipe or the guard we need to install these spaces in the hydraulic lock inside the fork leg. Uh, the original one is this fella here now it's not cast into the plastic as it looks like when you first take it out. It's got a couple of different direction um, flutes, knurls if you like on there. Um, when it's installed it pretty much screws in with the bottom one and the top one is in the opposite direction and stops it from coming back out. They are pretty easy to get out and when you go back to standard if you take the, uh, the extended piece out they're also very easy to put back in. Um, I'm going to show you taking one of these pieces out of a fork leg and I'm going to show you installing the hydraulic lock. And there's no reason to get into the oil of the fork if you don't want to do a service at the same time. It'll show you it's fairly easy to get out. So I've got myself a fork leg here. I've loosened the cap off on. And I'm just going to... And this is full of oil. Um, I'm not going to mess with the oil. So we just slide the outer tube down. Now, this is the part we need to get out if you've never seen one of these before. Uh, it's just inside the, the spring. It takes a 22 mil spanner, pull the spring down, put the spanner on, let go of the spring. Um, and take a 24 mil socket here, and it's the center of the nut, the center nut of the preload adjuster, and I'm just going to undo that like that. We want to keep the spanner on there. Take off the top cap, and we're just going to. Remove the spring. And that is a hydraulic stop on the damper rod. So I'm just going to screw this off. Hold the shaft, <clears throat> screw this off. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. So that's the original one, and that's the extended version. So this is the part, the extended version part. It has a little thread just on the top end here. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in and then we're just going to basically screw it in and it will cut its own little thread in the top of the, the plastic here. Very important to get these straight um, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Okay, I've mounted the hydraulic lock in a vise and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to remove the end. Now, all that's required to get this out is a, you, you, a small turn clockwise as if you're going to tighten it up until it, you get a, a, bit of, a, a bit of friction with it and then it will just go kunk. Once it's gone that way, you can just turn it back the other way and it, backs, it will just back out. It's really that easy. Now when you put these back in, if you change your bike back to standard, literally a couple of drops of super glue, don't, don't have to smear it completely around, just a few drops, and then put it back in exactly the same way. And we've tested this, I've been using a bike for a while that's had these put back in, um, and there's been no problem. They, they, they're stronger in there with a few drops of super glue when they go back in than they are from the factory. 
So there's no other way of doing this other than removing those. Um, and then we're going to install this part now. You could just easily screw that in, get the thread started and just screw it up. But there's a slight chance that it might go in slightly crooked. Now if it goes slightly crooked, what's going to happen is because the rod's pretty tight inside here, this is going to be out of alignment by the time it gets to the thread. So it's either going to be tight when you're putting it on the shaft or it's just not going to line up at all. So I'm just going to show you the easiest and quickest way of lining this up. Okay, so I've got the fork leg here that the hydraulic lock came off of. I'm just going to slide that over the top. Just hold the rod so it doesn't slide down. We're going to take our part and we're just going to screw that on the top there. Okay, so now we've got everything lined up as it should be. Um, if you've got a vise, it's going to be easier, but you could do it um, with just by holding this with a, a spanner. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to wind that in. Wind it in all the way. Until it touches. Slippery with the oil of these shafts. Now we could just leave this on there, but I'm just going to take it off and show you. Can't hold onto the shaft. And there we have. The hydraulic lock. Now it's going to put the fork back together exactly the same way as it was. Now I'm just going to show you that. Now another part of this video. Okay, so we've got a hydraulic lock back on the shaft. So all we do is we screw this down right the way down to the bottom of the thread, uh, and even nip it up as much as you can to to tighten it up. The reason for that is when we put our spring on like that <clears throat> and we're going to put our cap back on there's a little o-ring up inside the top there and we want to make sure that this is seated properly what will happen is this will screw down when it reaches the top You'll feel it stop there and then all you need to do is overcome the little bit of pressure that you put on the bottom of that thread and then you know that that's seated. Now you want to be turning the inside nut of the preload adjuster otherwise you're going to possibly turn the preload adjuster and then it's going to just move the adjuster and not, not the nut down. Um, so then we just wind that down now we know it's at the top until it meets, reaches the, the hydraulic nut and then we're going to tighten it up. Now there is a torque setting for this, I'm not sure where it is, but for I always just do it by feel. Um, but it'll be in your manual should you want to check it. And there you have the hydraulic stop with the extended piece. Now what's going to happen now is that there's no changes with your fork at all other than the fact that it's just going to bottom out in the hydraulic stop 22 mil before it would do with the standard one on there and then that's going to take into account the mod that you've done with the triple clamp and uh, that's it we just put it back together thanks for watching